It's Monday, April 22nd, 2013, and let's talk about what happened this weekend over at XTADevelopers.com. First up, for owners of Sony Xperia devices, this story pertains to you. Sony's had a pretty decent history of developing social-based applications that users tend to enjoy, and with the Xperia Tablet S in 2012, Sony unveiled a new version of their social app they're calling Social Life, and not too long thereafter mentioned that Timescape, the one that a lot of people on earlier devices are using, would be going away early in 2013. So of course, for the people that are using that earlier app and don't have access to the newer one yet, or may never have access to it, that kind of sucks. But luckily, XDA senior member Error Kuhn has gone ahead and made this app work with all of the 2011 and 2012 Sony Xperia devices running ICS or Jelly Bean. Now, unfortunately, there are still some bugs to it, but they're the same kind of bugs that were present on the existing devices that have it, so it's not really like the port of the app was the problem, it's the app itself that's kind of buggy. So if you do want to get your hands on it and give it a try, head on over to the forum thread to read up on it to get all the caveats and just see, make sure it's gonna work for you. Now moving right along, if you know me, you know that I'm really big into hardware, and so when I see a hardware project show up on the front page of the site, I know I've got to talk about it. Well, XDA senior member Kima996 has come up with a brand new hardware project in the forum. Very, very interesting stuff. It is a universal Arduino serial adapter. So essentially you can have a micro USB port coming out of your Arduino, from a giant breadboard as far as I can tell, plug it from there into your Android device and have a serial connection to the Arduino from Android. But of course you can also do it with any old traditional serial cable or a Cisco terminal cable, things like that. So if you have a machine that has a serial cable or some sort of a serial to USB connection or anything like that, you should be able to, actually with just a micro USB to USB, you should be able to get it on any machine and then pull it up with your, your terminal of choice to control it. There are demo videos, there's lots of information and pictures and parts lists and schematics, so if you want to know more about this new Arduino project, head on over to that forum thread as well. Now for a little bit of XDA specific news. XDA University, we don't actually talk about it an awful lot here, but there's a new article posted on the front page of the site talking all about some new XDA University stuff, specifically targeting some beginner-oriented guides that are now available over at XDA University with regard to flashing your device and dealing with boot loops. So great to see some more progress being made on the XDA University side, and if that's something that interests you, of course, make sure to head on over to XDA University, check out the portal post on the xdadevelopers.com website, whatever else you want to do. And of course, we cannot talk about the XDA site without talking about the elephant in the room, XDA is a very large forum, lots and lots of members, and as of this weekend, we officially hit a new milestone. XDA Forums now has over 5 million registered users. You combine that with the over 100,000 viewers on YouTube, we've hit some very major milestones recently, so we do want to thank you guys. Make sure to check out that portal post, leave a comment congratulating XDA on their, their success, on our success, I guess. Definitely cool to see that big number up there, and of course, whenever I see my friends and my coworkers and stuff talking about Android and then going to XDA, to see actually my face on the side of the website and then seeing that large number at the top, it definitely means a lot. I'm very proud of that number even though I didn't do a whole lot to make it that. One way or another, very large community, full of awesome people, so thanks for being here. Two other videos were posted to XDA Developer TV this weekend. The first one was five tips you possibly don't know about Android devices, coming from newcomer to XDA Developer TV, Rob. From looking at the comments, these are not things that people did not know, so double negative, lots of people knew about these things. But perhaps there were some people out there who did not know how to get to these things. And on Sunday, Jace put out another video in his app development series, although it was not specifically app development related. He was talking about the XDA forums for app development specifically, and just asking for some general information information as to what people would want to see moving forward for his series, who, who people want him to contact. So if you like his series and you want to see more out of it, make sure to let him know what sort of developers you want him to talk to, what sort of topics you want him to talk about. But actually, that's going to be about all for me for today. Make sure to hit the like button down below if you like this video and subscribe to receive our content as soon as it becomes available. Thank you so much for watching, though, and I'll see you again on Friday.